This hour, Governor Reynolds wanted to see what's happening at the Mexican border. Now she has, and she's pointing her finger at Washington. Political director Dave Price joins us live from Mission, Texas. Dave. Dan, we are on the outer edge of Anzalduas Park on the other side of this fence here. That's where we spent most of the day. Iowa's governor was here with nine other Republican governors from across the country. And if you look off to that direction, the body of water off in the distance, that's the Rio Grande. And then on the other side of that, that's the country of Mexico. This area is where Border Patrol and other law enforcement told us is a popular spot where migrants try to cross that water, whether they try to swim it or use rafts, go across that water to try to make it to the shore and find refuge here in Texas. Today, Texas's governor led a news conference with the other Republican governors. Armed National Guard members were standing with their vehicles behind the governors during this news conference. Border detentions are the highest that they have been in more than two decades. And the Republican governors today blamed President Joe Biden's policies for not doing more to stop the migrants from coming across. Over the past eight months, we have seen illegal immigration just soar. And uh, in fact, it's becoming a, uh, a migration. And Joe Biden has done absolutely nothing to confront this self-inflicted crisis. And let me just start out by making a very clear point. And that is, President Joe Biden has caused a humanitarian crisis and chaos on our border. All Americans saw exactly what happened in Del Rio, Texas, just last month. And we know that that chaos will be repeated unless and until President Biden takes action. We've been getting some questions from Iowans since we've been down here in Texas about why Governor Reynolds had to come here. One thing that came up was cost. The governor's office said this cost to Iowa taxpayers will be about $500. The bulk of this trip is on the political side, so the Republican Governors Association will pay for the governor and her staff to travel here. What Iowa taxpayers paid for would be the lodging, and that's where they get $500, $125 a room for the four rooms that they rented on this trip here. People have also brought up why isn't the governor in Iowa doing public appearances talking about COVID hospitalizations? What about those 900 people or so in the Newton area that could be losing their jobs at the end of the year as two wind energy businesses potentially shut down or at least shut down for a while? Why is she focused on this and not those matters from back at home? The governor, when we talked to her, talked about that what is happening here does impact Iowans back home. She said they have seen through law enforcement that some of the drugs that cross over illegally across the border have made their way to Iowa and to other states across the Midwest, and that can have an impact on Iowa. She says big picture, despite this effort by leaders of states to be here. This is a federal issue that the president's administration needs to deal with and Congress needs to deal with. And we asked her about the fact that Republicans had just had control in D.C. with President Trump and Republicans in charge of the House and Senate. She acknowledged that there is blame to go around in different ways for previous administrations, but think that the situation has worsened since Joe Biden has been in office. And that's why they're seeing so many more migrants coming across and being apprehended at the border for those that they apprehend, not counting the ones that have made it through without apprehension, Dan. Yeah, political director Dave Price putting some much needed context to this visit as well. Thanks so much, Dave. We'll look forward to your reports this evening.